Okay, here is a new rebind for a family friend. Uh, this is the New in Inductive Study Bible, New American Standard. It was a, uh, or it is, a glued binding by Harvest House Publishers. And um, it had come apart. Uh, so I undid it. If you, if you look at these numbers up backwards, I think it will tell you maybe whenever it was put together, but some pages has come out. So, uh, what is that? First Peter 2, 4. Oh, here I can just number. So, 2009 and 10 came out. 1743 and 44 came out. Uh, so I had to put that all back together. And here is how it looks now. So, brand new. Uh, beautiful Bordeaux goat skin um, and the the liner on the inside is a perfect uh, Bordeaux calf skin liner and um, boy it's it's really pretty to be honest with you it's very very pretty um, so I just wanted to show you this um, this is my first glued binding repair uh, it's also the first Bible with my new stamp on it, so I can get a pretty reflection for you guys. There's the stamp. Okay. Holy Bible, NASB, Holy Bible. And uh, it has tabs on it. Anyway, the, the uh, most use in the Bible were the or the, uh, the weakest part of it is where it got the most use. And that's back here in the New Testament. So um, I did have to reprint those pages, what I say, 2010, 2009 and 10. So there's page 2009, looking good. Looks like it belongs there. And 2010, so it looks really good. There it is back in the Bible in 1743 is the good one. So 1743 and 44. There we go. Able to salvage the note pretty well. Um, so there we go. Yeah. So it's back in there, just like it belongs. Uh, and this came in about eight to ten different pieces. So um, what I did first was I glued the pieces back together. And um, you can see how, well, you see how this was bowed in a concave way. Okay, the whole Bible's like this. And then... Uh, you know, the Pauline literature is just falling to pieces. Um, so I had to re-glue that. Now there was some trouble because the, the, the spine part of the page, uh, there might be, you know, uh, 30, 40 pages that are still glued together. But, um, but the spine part of the gluing had curved in on itself. And uh, so that presented a pretty big problem. Uh, I did what I did the best I could to jog everything back up and line it back up. And, uh, and so it's not perfect because of the, um, just some parts of it are beyond my abilities. But uh, I do know that there are some librarians, uh, conservationists who are, they have the proper chemicals to release all the glue and, uh, and put that back together. I don't have that, those products. Uh, I don't have that training, but um, I did line everything back up as best as I could get it. And then what I did was I put the text block in the press and I sawed. I got a little, uh, little hand, a little hacksaw, and I sawed about five notches into the spine and I don't know if you can see it in here or not, but there's actually um, 
cords that I've run through the spine. So now, uh, not only are they glued back together, but I think you might be able to see this in the beginning and end. They now have a bit of thread running through there. So it's sort of like a sewn binding so the pages don't come out. So it has glue and it is sewn in there a little bit too. So hopefully this Bible will last a lot longer um, this time around than it had to begin with. So um, I did the typical uh, perimeter edge crease with the additional interior edge crease. Perimeter gold uh, gilting. Here's my corner work. Top left, bottom left. Go to the other side here. Top right and bottom right. So, I did not uh, skive down this leather any. Um, I, I got it thin to begin with and I think that is the way to go. Um, so anyway, this is a really cool Bible. Um, I've been trying to curve the spines, but you can't really do that on a glued binding uh, square spine block. So this is a flat back. The only thing left to do is to wrap it up and uh, push down the yap that we have here. That's the overhang. So whenever that goes down and that goes down, um, you can sort of see where the Bible will be at that point or where the edge of it will be at that point. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this Bible, Grace. Uh, I know it's an excellent Bible. You'd love to have an heirloom edition um, or heirloom to pass down to your family. Um, and then also you want something, you, you invest so much time in this, you want to have your Bible. You want to use your Bible. And, uh, and besides, this is one of the only New American Standard text blocks with a gutter reference system. So all the references are in the gutter, and then uh, you have, what is it, an uh, inch and a half of writing space, wide margin, and the paper's nice. You don't have a lot of ghosting, so, uh, man, if this, if this Bible had been a sewn binding, uh, people would be... People be paying big bucks to find one of these right now, but uh, since it's glued, it's it's uh, it's in demand, but it's not in high demand uh, from the from the uh, the uh, Bible collecting crowd. I've got new headbands. No, oh, uh, I've got these uh, double satin ribbons on here. I think that is the perfect combo. Um, also, the end papers. I feel like the end papers are a perfect combo to go with this Bordeaux. And uh, anyway, this is this is now a home run Bible. And so, Grace, hope you enjoy it. Um, and Merry Christmas.